Now, Rufus Hound, very, very funny man with a great moustache. I hope he still has that amazing handlebar moustache. Um, he's trying to find out if there's any tennis action going on here at, uh, not Wimbledon, of course, Glastonbury. So, where are you, Rufus? Well, Nihal, I'm in the theatre and circus field. You see, while the big bands would carve off their right arm to be a part of playing at Glastonbury, there are a host of smaller stages all over this field, uh, indeed all over the festival, where all you need to perform is the uh, drive, the determination, the ability, the will to join in. Uh, this behind me is the fairly famous family. All they've told me is to uh, get this gear on and they'll tell me the rest. I don't actually know what it is they want me to do, but, uh, well, they're doing something. Ladies and gentlemen, please, Mr. John McEnroe! Ladies and gentlemen, the contender, the one and only, the black player of American Tennis. Let's go! For your dedication and entertainment, the of Mr. John Come and have a if you think you're hard enough. There's obviously a lot of rivalry here between these two players. We must settle down now as we reach the final, final game of the final set. The champion will be crowned, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Cash to serve. If Mr. McEnroe wins this game, he will be crowned the King of Glastonbury and walk away with that wonderful prize. A five pound big voucher. Silence, please! <laughs> Here they go, these two contenders. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, the ball served round beautifully. 175 miles an hour. Oh! We have love 15. Yeah! Mr. Megano, Mr. Yeah! Megano. That's just when he won. I okay, suspect here we go. all drug sample might be white, Mr. Megano. He returns it beautifully, a little spin there, the volley coming back across it. Both these players closing in on the net now. All these years of experience, he thinks he's playing tennis balls, oh. and it's out. That was it's in. Out. That ball was in! That what? ball was out! Oh, oh, come on, was in! It was out! Gentlemen, gentlemen, please, there's only one way to solve this. We are going to go and use the latest in technology. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the Hawkeye. There we go. You will see in exactly detail exactly what happened. It cost a lot of money this year. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, slow down 100 times. Some of the speed. replay. You will see exactly what happened. We will then know for sure that the ball was in the lad, the third umpire. <laughs> At this speed, Mr. Cash, you can see his athleticism, the control, the grace he has in the game. He notices that he hasn't found his mother for a while. Sends the ball slamming across court. At 175 miles an hour, the ball landing beautifully for Mr. M McEnroe to return with a deft flick of the wrist back across the court when it bounces and Mr. Cash, like the true athlete he is, uses all the spin he can muster to send the ball on a crazy journey in the vain attempt that it may hypnotize his opponent who waits for the drop then rather oh. cockily serves one between the legs This is the point! And the ball looks like it's going to be in it looks like it's going to be in and quite clearly Quite, quite clearly, the ball's out. Oh! McEnroe cannot believe it once again. I don't believe this, man! I told you so. I told you so. You! He never believes anything. You did this! You got in the way! Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. New yeah. balls, please. I think we should present him with the prize for being such a good and magnanimous winner. I'm Let's have the Duchess of Kent on to present the prize. Ladies and gentlemen, how is the Duchess of Kent? Thank Let's you. move forward to present the bad boy himself, the title I of that means it's back champion to you, Joe. of Glastonbury. Ladies and gentlemen, your king of Glastonbury, Mr. John Bad Boy McEnroe, who, in the course of this victory, has killed one small Yay, child. Yay, Rufus, champion of the world. That's my kind of tennis, that.